guys, so today we're going to be doing some awesome stuff, like, you know, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do stuff, and maybe even some fails, I don't know. Okay guys, okay, I'm going to do a backflip, and this is a tutorial on how to do it. So, this is, you're going to look really cool if you know how to do this, but you want to like, you know, have your feet shoulder length, like, or shoulder width apart, you know? And then you kind of want to squat down with your hands shooting up. You know, you, good momentum. It's a good momentum, trust me. So I'm on a trampoline, as you can see. But I don't need any balance. You can get balance if you want, but I'm professional, so I don't really need it. But um, So yes, yeah, so you do you want to get lots of balance. And yeah, remember, just thrust your hips. Then you just need to work on jumping, kind of in place. And then you just tuck, you know, you jump up, you tuck, and you just land it. It's really easy to land, but it's most of it is a mental state because you know it's like just really scary and nerve wracking. But here, anyways, this is how it goes. If you want to see it in fast motion, oh! Herb, you did it! You did it, Herb! Like this, Herb? Well, no, you have to like. Uh, never, never mind. This is how I do front flip. I kind of didn't get injured, but it's okay. But yeah, now I'm going to do front flip. And this is what you want to do. I'll, I'll do it in a second. But you want to bounce as high as you can. Like even me. I do have to bounce for this one because it's kind of extreme. But you have to bounce really high. And when you're up high, starting to come down, that's when you want to tuck. That's how you get the full rotation. Okay, so it looks kind of like this. So I'll count down from three to let you know. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. So, this can help you get rotation. Um, that was on the trampoline, but this is how you can do it on the ground or even improve on the trampoline. So, you want to get a chair, something like this, or even a couch would work, maybe. But, so you want to do, I'm going to explain it and then I'll demonstrate. But, you want to sit. Like upside down so your back is on this and your leg are, are up there. And then you're going to just flip. You're going to flip backwards. And then you're going to land it so that you get used to the momentum in the landing part. So here, I'll demonstrate it real quick. Kind of complicated here. Okay, okay, so you want to get in the position kind of like this, and then you just want to flip backwards. I'd have my hands up just for safety precautions, and yeah, I'll go over that, but, so, you want to go lean back like this, and be able to touch your hands. Oh, frick, oh, oh okay, it's okay. And then you just want to rotate. Oh. 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 This is also another great way to work on your rotation. Trampoline or on ground. So you want to couch kind of like this. Make sure it's arm rests. But you want to like get right here. Here I'll explain first and then do it. But you want to sit down on this. And then you want to throw your legs back with your hands like down. So you can get the full rotation and then you should land on your knees at the end, like on the other cushion. So it should kind of look like this. So sit down. And then you just want to throw yourself back. That's enough flip technique, so I kind of hurt my back, but... <clears throat> so... I'm a trainer for like the smoker. People ask me to train for them. Um, I could go in the smoker, but I have too much experience, but I totally would. So, this is what you want to do. You want to get a nice good punching bag, you know, a heavy one. Yeah, heavy. Um, so yeah, make sure it's very good. I, you're supposed to use boxing gloves, but uh, um, I'm not going to use any because I'm like, I'm professional, plus I'm, I'm only teaching. So, you want to get a punching bag and a good one. And then, some people start out like this. 
That is the worst stance you could possibly do. Like, possibly. Because if they come and hit you, then you can you have like a black eye and that. But, so, this is what you actually want to do. Believe it or not, this is the best way. You want to stick your chest out and have your hands to the sides. It's, it shows lots of confidence. And you can like, you know, you can just grow plus it makes your chest look bigger. So, but then when you're actually going to fight, you want to do this. And then you, with, you pull back as far as you can. Because it also can help with dodging. And you straighten out your arm. You come in and swing from the side, like that. Just like that, just like that. Here, I'll show you again. See, I have, that puts a lot of force into this. And the reason you hit like that is because there's a lot more surface area hitting the body at once, and you're using your entire body for momentum. This, that's not gonna get you anywhere. Like, so now, so, some techniques, for vlogging, a lot of people ask me how I do it. Well, if anyone is ever going to vlog, you need at least two, or you need two things. You can't have one, you can't have the other one, you need both. You need friends and a good personality. If you don't have friends, then you can't get a good editor, you can't get, you, you can't get anything. You can't get anything good, no one will like you because you're not popular. If you're not popular, you have no hope. But a good personality, you have to, if you're not, if you don't have a good personality, then you don't even try. I'm sorry, but don't. And <clears throat> last but not least, just be yourself. Make sure you don't copy me. Come up with your original ideas. Plus, that is kind of illegal, plagiarism. But, um, Yes, no one wants to see someone who's copying someone. But yes. Okay, so anyways, those are my techniques. Um, okay, see you next time. It's gotta be heard.